how could Jamaica potentially line up in 2024 with new incomings? So make we see. What I'm going. We're seven. season is in our feast and many persons would love to enjoy the special moment with friends and family however I have to reflect on how impressive the Jamaica football team has been in several games that they have played speaking of good games how about thinking about the CONCACAF Nations League where the reggae boys have created a lot of upsets upsetting special teams like Canada now the reggae boys have a big chance of making a huge impact against the United States in 2024 in the semi-finals but I made mention of how Jamaica could potentially line up with new incomings in 2024. The thing is, I have gave recognition on players in past videos and I want to let you know that even though I am just an ordinary person in my own eyes, it should be in yours as well. These players are players of which I have spoken about and I won't go into details on players who could possibly not be existing in Jamaica lineup. So the thing is, I will be speaking about players that are possible to come across the board. Think about this. How would it look for you to see key players that you have longed for, but they do not come across? That would be a huge upset and the thing is it would be three players i will be speaking about jamaica though in regards to their previous game and then i jump into the details on the three players at the back end of this video so stick around and let's have a breakdown right so this was the lineup for the last game that reggae boys played in it was a very intense but a successful outings for the national team coach al grimson he went with a 4-4-2 formation and that was the formation which allowed the reggae boys to be triumphant against their opposition team Canada in the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Nations League. Looking on the representation you can see where the Reggae boys scored three goals courtesy of Shamar Nicholson and Bobby Reed. Basically two goals were scored by Mr. Nicholson and a penalty by way of this representation was scored by Bob Reed. The thing is, the Reggae Boys have a very good squad, but the team needs more balance. And as I mentioned earlier on, when I was on board, I gave details or recognition of three players that, you know, seems to be potentially possible to be a part of the national setup but before I dive into that details I just want to have a little discussion about the players here by way of this 4-4-2 formation it isn't a bad lineup seeing that Blake is the number one person in goal he is very flexible across his goal getting up in age but he is still the number one Lembe Kisa I think he's a very good player in regards to his high press 
in terms of his defensive capabilities. However, there's a weakness in Lembikisa game. Will Lembikisa be replaced by anyone else? Maybe not. But I am seeing where this guy can be potentially great as a player. 20 years of age, so there's a lot more to learn. Um, Lee being here at left back. With Lee being there, Amar Bell is the number one player for Jamaica at that position. I mean, somebody else could come in and compete because Lee is 29 years of age. And the back line with these two guys, Pinnock and Lowe, comfortably the best back line that Reggae Boy have right now. Is it a case of which somebody should be dislodged? But we have the three players which I'm going to speak about. We never know as yet. But the thing is, Lowe is a person who would go forward and Pinnock would be the person to stay here. So I mean, there is somebody who will be pressing and somebody who will be staying back. The midfield is a problem to me in regards to Jamaica because this guy Latibo here, he isn't that player for which I think brings the balance alongside Johnson. And sometimes with him being here, Jamaica is left exposed, right? However, there should be somebody who can replace him. Not one of the three signings or new incomings, but there are persons who have played already that can replace this guy right here. But he's not a liability in the squad. Now, up front, this guy, if there should be an award for the best player for Jamaica, then Demar Gray is that man for which I would give. Because since his arrival, he has been the best player for Jamaica thus far. Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey is one of those players who is a midfielder but is said to be a winger because he plays more so on the right hand side for Aston Villa. I think Leon Bailey is comfortable playing over this side more than you know being right up here because he's that person who likes to dribble. And in that case now, before I even speak more on Leon Bailey, remember that Demar Gray was given a red card. So who will be that player to replace Demar Gray, right? Um, the thing is, Demar Gray is the best player, but is it going to be possible to have somebody in or is there somebody who is already in the regular boy squad right now who can play in his position all right so the thing is no leon bailey as i was saying before he's not the type of player who likes to play up front like this to me that is my opinion leon bailey likes to play more so from this end right this end on the right hand side he likes to dribble he likes to pass and shamar nicholson is the type of player who is Plays as a, as a number 10 in the previous fixture between themselves and Canada before the latest one. But he scored two beautiful goals being right here as that forward. To me, this formation is okay because it will bring more stability and more balance for the regular boys teams. However, there is a problem here where the midfield is concerned. So, let's take the time out now to at least see how I always thought reggae boys with three new incomings they may not start but they have their potential to make the team based on recent news and therefore help the reggae boys team to become more balanced and better off. Earlier on I gave details as it relates to the recent game that the reggae boys played against Canada and it was a game that we could at least appreciate because then again Jamaica has qualified for the semi-finals but how could Jamaica potentially line up with new incomings in 2024 the formation to me can stay the same however some persons would have to be removed right um, down here you are seeing the different names you're seeing like Waite who is a backup goalkeeper to Blake, Bernard, Mariapa these two guys are center backs Brown is competing with Lemby Kisa Bell, Bell has to come back right so this guy Bell would be that person who will start and Lee out of the squad well, out of the starting 11, right? Now, 
We have other players like Russell. I would drop Russell right here and remove Latibod here. I saw where Russell, as a 23 year old, is more composed, direct, disciplined, more useful in the reggae boys midfield than a Latibod Bodier. His presence as a youngster is impressive. And when you have a player like a Russell in your midfield, you can have the body to at least bombard oppositions because Mexico was a team for which he played against and it was so impressive that shows that he, even though he have a lot more to learn his instant impact not only in this game but his instant impact in Mexico game shows that this guy have what it takes to be a potential CDM for the reggae boys Lambert he will stay on the bench or if there's a case of which you need to have two players playing defensive in the midfield then he could be that person who can fit here and replace a Johnson so Tarek Mitchell he is that player who potentially could come into the regular boy squad and he would be like a starter or a backup to an Amar Bell. Amar Bell is more than 28 years of age Mitchell is about 24 years old because Tarek Mitchell had that aspiration to represent the reggae boys, he could be that guy who could come in, learn and fit into the reggae boys team, build a chemistry and he could be that potential replacement for Amari Bell. Now moving forward down the line, Dujon Richards, I mean, he could be that player who will stay on the bench, come on as a super sub. No, the thing is, you have this guy in Reese Nelson. I spoke about this guy in a video and I have to give a big shout out to all those persons who gave me that huge amount of viewership in regards to the video. I was so impressed by the fan base. You guys allowed me to be motivated and wanting to continue to do more videos here on the platform. So remember Demar Gray was given a red card against Canada. So potentially he will not only miss that game, but it could be a case in which he will even get injured. Just saying if he should play against teams in the Copa America. But for now, DeMar Gray will be out of the squad because he was given that red card. So who will play? You would more so have Alien Bailey who will drop here. But Leon Bailey is better on the right. And most times to me, it would be best to have your best players playing in the position for which you are comfortable with. Having a balance, having that team chemistry. But Leon Bailey will stay here. While Bobby Reed will be that guy who will play on the right hand side. So remember Reese Nelson is a potential player who we could get in. Alright. So in that case, a Reese Nelson. A Leon Bailey here. Who will still remain on the left hand side? Will Jamaica get to Mason Greenwood? Potentially, Mason Greenwood could be the player who will play right here because he's more direct, he's more dominant in terms of his finishing, he's more precise in terms of how he makes his decision in capitalizing or converting his goals. So, this could be the potential lineup in regards to the regular boys team with. Mitchell in, Nelson, and Greenwood. Because the thing is, not all players will come in and instantly start. But the thing is, they can have that huge impact from the bench or starting from the 11. Of course, Al Grimson is the coach of the Reggae Boys team. But there could be a change though in regards to right here. Greenwood could be the player playing here. You know, this guy could be on the bench, you know. Right? Bobby could be out of the starting 11. Greenwood. Or. Greenwood here. Nelson start. So what I'm saying here are. For a more better dribbling. You have Nelson being up here. Well, let's say Leon Bailey here. Greenwood from this side. Right? And Nelson from this side. Still having a better balance in the squad. But the thing is it boils down to the team 
chemistry and how well these new players can come in and integrate. So what do you think about this lineup, the 4-4-2? Four, four, Let's remove Bell, so we can see that we have Mitchell, Nelson, Greenwood as the three players who will come in and have their parts to play in the Jamaica team. Because, you know, Greenwood is a player like this now, who loves to dribble, cut in, and, you know, with him being here. Just showing you an example. He loves to shoot. Bend it from that side like Beckham, back of the net, right? Nelson is a person who can dribble well. So he has the ball, he dribbles, you know, Bailey, gets the ball, Nelson, overlaps, Bailey, Nelson, just showing you some signs here, right, um, Mitchell is going to be the left back, so you know, like when he has the ball, he makes a link with Nelson right here, Carrick Mitchell makes a link with Nelson, who oh, hangs the touchline. Nelson gets the ball, right, he travels with the ball, Mitchell overlaps, Nelson gets it to, to uh, Mitchell who comes right here, right, just, I hope you're seeing what I'm saying here, Bailey, does a dummy, Nicholson, boom, so I'm just showing you some, some smart examples as to how reggae boys can incorporate the usefulness of these three players in Mitchell, Nelson, and Greenwood, and how they could set up in the team, right? So, what is your thoughts on this? Do you think that these guys can even come into the Reggae Boys team and potentially be those players who can give Reggae Boys the lift that they deserve? So, that would be my lineup with Lemby Kisa. Well, let me start off here with um, my goalkeeper in goal I don't know who is this young man right here but we have Blake in goal um, Pinock and Low have a very good partnership at the back Lemby Kisa and Mitchell you know the midfield would have Russell right Russell Johnson Nelson and Greenwood right Nelson right here and Greenwood, Bailey and Nicholson. So there you have it, the potential lineup for the Reggae Boys and it's now for you to have your say on what you think would be best for the squad. Alright, so based on the presentation that was being done, I know that there's something for you to say and the platform is always open for not only myself but others to share their views and have their own point mentioned. So, it is now for you, the fans of Premier 7, to let me know what you think about the technical analysis and let me see the common sense that should be implemented as well whenever going about in terms of choosing the rifle players to represent the island of Jamaica. Stay tuned, goodbye and we will speak again with more videos, all right?